Hello, uh, my name is Santosh Vaswani, journalist and editor at the CIO News. I would like to invite my guest for today, uh, Mr. Shri Shankar uh, Gurujalam, cyber security leader from an MNC. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, so, sir, my first question to you would be: What are the potential threats uh, for the healthcare industry in 2024? And if you ask for the, from a global perspective, we already see 2020 onwards. You know, the healthcare sector has been constantly getting hit, and it's one of the topmost sectors that are hit. And from an Indian perspective, we are following the global trend, unfortunately, in this sector. So it will continue to grow. I'm afraid I would like to say that. So the reason for me to say that is we have seen so many hospitals getting breached. People are after the PI eyes of the patients, holding hospitals to ransom and causing disruption to medical services is another big prank that they're they're kind of playing, right? In anticipation of the ransom. I think that is where we are heading. Great, sir. And uh, one of uh, more follow-up questions would be, uh, how can uh, proactive threat monitoring and the swift vulnerability assessments strengthen the cybersecurity posture of the healthcare sector? If I were to speak about my domain of healthcare, what is a proactive See, security has to be the practice, right? It's not just that somebody gets hit and then they start thinking how to deal with it, right? right? Even how to deal with it has to be well thought through you have to have your preparation otherwise you will never be able to respond it well so now, right now the, the way the proactive controls that are being planned out it's not just for operations it's even for the product let's say a product company is there and they're trying to release their product they will subject it to various kind of penetration testing vulnerability assessments um, on that uh, you know sandbox testing of various kinds of all that is something that is planned out, thought through before releasing it. And today, IoT, I mean, the OT threats, which were not seen so much, are gaining popularity because people are exploiting that. So how you connect with your OT is another major aspect. So proactive security is looking at what are the predators looking at, hitting there even before they hit you. So security is always thought of as, you know, like how in old Bollywood movies, after every fighting ends, police comes in. Now, security guys can't be like that. We have to be ahead of our predators and we need to do whatever we need to do. And that's what the industry is doing. Correct, sir. Thank you very much. Such a great answer. And uh, one, my last question would be, how are uh, CISOs in India prepared to deal with a ransomware attack uh, with their incidents response plan? This is a very, very important and a very pertinent question for us. Thank you, sir. Because I think the way people are, you know, in what's happening today is you can see there is a consistent increase in the way we are facing attacks, especially from some of our friendly neighbors. Now, what's happening? Many of the government sites they are hit are all majorly, they are all attacked from our you know, state actors of our friendly neighbors. Now, why is the state actors so interested in disrupting government sites? Are they limiting themselves to government sites? No, they are even getting the public infrastructure, critical infrastructure, and even some of the private operations. Now, if you see, there is a larger canvas on the background. India was 11 in the economic rating ranking, and today it is fifth largest economy and we are promising to grow up where the whole world is experiencing a recession so obviously this is attracting a lot of attention and that is where i see the whole attacks and the volumes and attack surfaces are increasing so it's very very important at this point not to lose the advantage what we have we have built it over a period of a long period of struggle and we can't afford to let it go, let, let loose at this point of time. And this is where, you know, we need to have a very, very sound response plan. People have to test their plans. Let some third party come in and be hired and they say this is bad. Let them prove it, it's bad. Great. And you hire them. 
so that you test your own self before the hacker tests you. Correct. That is where a response plan is very, very important. And thanks again for asking that very important question. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, great answers. And uh, thank you very much for watching this interview. Do follow us on uh, our uh, website, cionews.co.in and our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you.